Well, hi. My name's Jim. Dimitri. I'm a Greek person. And I'm going to show you how to get started on Flight Simulator 2004. Well, first of all, we have to choose our airplane. So change and select Cessna. Try and find Cessna. Select it. Press OK. Then we have to select our location. We're going to fly in Greece in this tutorial. So in here, country, you select Greece. Then you search for the city of Athens. Athens, and then runway starting position. Select active runway and press OK. And the weather, select clear skies. Press OK. And time and season, make sure it's day. Press fly now. OK. Well, this is the first screen you're going to see. It's the aircraft panel. Well, first of all, to fly an airplane, you have to understand three basic instruments of this airplane. The first one is the airspeed. Airspeed shows you your speed. That's it. Just like if you were in a car. The second one is the artificial horizon that shows you if you're going up, down, left or right. And the third one is the altimeter. This little thing here shows you if you are going to crash or not. It shows you if you are gaining altitude or if you are losing altitude. So now that we understand the three basic instruments of an airplane, what else we have to know? We have to know two more things. The throttle and the brakes of an aircraft. This little button down here is the throttle. If you move it forward, it will gain speed. If you move it backward, it will reduce speed. Well, and the brakes now. The brakes on airplanes are called flaps. These little things here is the brakes of an airplane. If you open them, if you press them, while on air, you are going to break. So, now that we know the basics to fly the aircraft, the last thing we have to know is where we want to go. So now it's the time to open the GPS. This down here, little button, is the GPS. Open it. Well, the first screen you are going to see is our current position. If you press this button, it will zoom out. It will press, if you press this button, it will zoom in. Well, now, we have to enter the information of where we want to go. You have to press here to get to the options. Okay. Here, the GPS asks us for an ident of the airport we want to go. So, to find out what this ID is, we have to go to World, go to Airport, and try and find here Thessaloniki. So, the Thessaloniki, and the search results, you're gonna see the name of the airport, the city, Thessaloniki, the country and the ID we need to know. LGTS. Press cancel and go in the GPS. Press this button here and then start typing from your keyboard LGTS Macedonia and when you, these 
you will when you get these results you press the enter a few times so you can see now a pink straight line that gets us direct to Macedonia airport same thing we did uh, with Macedonia airport you can do it with any airport you wish uh, you just have to know the ID to get there uh, well what's left now is to fly the airplane uh, increase throttle to full when you reach 80 knots uh, gently pull the stick backwards climb and maintain whatever altitude you wish uh, just follow the pink line to get to your your destination and until the next tutorial I'm gonna show you in the next tutorial the basics you need uh, to land the airplane uh, safely without crashing uh, I hope I was helpful mm, it's my first time I'm doing this so don't leave any stupid comments because I'm gonna be mad if you leave any stupid comments and I'm not a real world pilot so I may make a few mistakes a lot of mistakes but I'm sure you're going to learn from these videos so until next time have a nice flight